Ever wondered how cricket is played? Or perhaps you've watched a match or two, but found the rules a bit confusing? Well, stick around as we demystify the world of cricket. Welcome to the captivating world of cricket, a sport that transcends borders and unites nations in a thrilling spectacle. With its roots traced back to the 16th century England, cricket has evolved into a global phenomenon, drawing millions of fans worldwide. It's not just a game, it's a celebration of sportsmanship, strategy, and unyielding spirit. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the essential rules and gameplay of cricket. We'll explore the intricacies of the cricket field and the equipment used. We'll delve into the roles of the players and the dynamic of the gameplay. And we'll even touch on the different formats of cricket. So, if you're ready to dive into the world of cricket, stay tuned as we break it down for you. First things first, let's understand the cricket field and the equipment used. Cricket, unlike many other sports, is played on an oval or circular field. This field is divided into two halves by a rectangular pitch. The pitch, the heart of the game, is 22 yards long and 10 feet wide. At each end of this pitch, there are three vertical stakes, known as stumps, which form the wicket. Two small pieces of wood, the bales, rest on top of these stumps. The boundary, the edge of the field, is crucial to scoring in cricket. A ball that reaches the boundary after bouncing scores four runs, while a ball that reaches the boundary without bouncing scores six runs. Now let's talk about the essential equipment, the bat and ball. A cricket bat, unlike a baseball bat, is flat on the striking side and humped on the rear for strength. The ball, weighing between five and a half to five and three quarters ounces, is made of cork and covered in leather. It's hard and can speed up to 90 miles per hour, so protective gear is a must. Batsmen wear helmets, gloves, pads, and sometimes chest and arm guards for safety. Remember, the cricket field and the equipment used are integral to the game. They shape the strategy, the scoring, and the excitement that is cricket. Now that you have a clear picture of the playing field and equipment, let's move on to the players and their roles. Cricket is a team sport, and each player has a specific role. Let's find out more. Imagine a harmonious orchestra, each musician playing a different instrument, yet all working together to create a beautiful symphony. That's cricket for you. Each player, like a musician, has a unique role to play. Let's start with the batsmen. These are the players who wield the bat, their main goal being to score runs. The more runs they score, the higher their team's total. But it's not just about hitting the ball, it's also about strategic play and endurance. Then we have the bowlers. They're the ones who throw the ball to the batsman. Their mission? To get the batsman out. They use a variety of techniques, from fast bowling to spin bowling, to outsmart the batsman. Next up, the wicket keepers. They're the cricket equivalent of goalkeepers, Positioned behind the stumps, they aim to catch the ball if the batsman misses it. Quick reflexes and sharp eyesight are their best friends. And lastly, the fielders. They're scattered across the field, ready to catch the ball or stop it in its tracks. Their objective? To prevent the batsman from scoring runs. Now let's talk about cricketing sides. There are two, the batting side and the bowling side. The batting side tries to score as many runs as possible, while the bowling side aims to restrict the runs and get the batsmen out. With a clear understanding of the roles, we can now delve into the actual gameplay. Cricket may seem complicated, but once you grasp the basics, it's quite straightforward. The game begins with a coin toss. The captain of the team that wins the toss decides whether to bat or bowl first. The objective of the game is simple. Score more runs than your opponent while dismissing them for fewer runs. The batting side sends two players to the crease. They stand at opposite ends of the pitch, each near a set of wickets. The bowler, from the fielding side, tries to hit the wickets with the ball. The batsman's job is to prevent this by hitting the ball. Once the ball is hit, the batsmen have the option to run to the opposite end of the pitch. If they make it without being run out, they score a run. The more the batsman runs, the higher the score. A particularly good hit that reaches the boundary of the field scores four runs if it bounces and six runs if it doesn't. But a batsman can be dismissed in several ways. The most common are getting bowled out when the bowler hits the wickets, caught out 
when a fielder catches the batted ball before it hits the ground, and run out when the wickets are hit before the batsman makes it to the other end of the pitch. That's the basic gameplay. But what about the different formats of cricket? Like many sports, cricket comes in different formats, each with its unique set of rules and gameplay. The three major formats are test matches, one-day internationals, also known as ODIs, and 2020 internationals, or T20Is. Test matches sit at the traditional end of the spectrum. They can last up to five days, with each team having two innings, or turns at bat. There's no limit to the number of overs in an innings, which means teams can bat for as long as they can sustain. This format requires a blend of patience, skill, and strategy, as teams must balance scoring runs with preserving their wickets. Next up, we have one-day internationals. These are limited overs matches, with each team given a maximum of 50 overs to score as many runs as possible. As the name suggests, they're completed in a single day. The emphasis here is on pace and aggression, as teams look to accumulate runs quickly. Finally, we have 2020 internationals. The most recent addition to the cricketing world, these matches are high-octane affairs, lasting just around three hours. Each team gets 20 overs, making every ball a potential game-changer. It's all about speed, power, and fearless hitting. And there you have it, the essential rules and gameplay of cricket. Now you're ready to enjoy this fascinating sport with a newfound understanding.